Guys, got a classic flam fill here for you. Uh, it's not overly difficult to do. We're going to be using flams, which is where we hit the drum at nearly the same time. And we've got some kicks in there as well. So just get into some big sounding fills rather than kind of ticka, 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 ticka type fills, which uh, people get into when they're new to the drums. So uh, it's going to sound like this. Uh, oh, by the way, you have to play it with this face. Okay, you'll see what I mean. It's, it's kind of raw and dirty, so... So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, gotta, gotta pull that face because it's just wrong if you don't. For example, yeah, you you know it's weird. <laughs> anyway, that face. Anyway, um, but that's the fill, and it's just going to be a three-three-two. So a little bit of a grouping exercise. Normally, when we do a fill, an eight, an eight-note long fill is a great phrase that we can fit in in multiple ways. Um, but this one, we're just going to be splitting it into a three, a three, and a two, which adds up to eight. So just the kind of easiest, odd way of splitting up a group of um, a group of eight, rather than using like four groups of two or two groups of four or so on. But three, three, two. Uh, and we're going to play it like this. A flam uh, on the snare drum is where we hit at nearly the same time. So not the same time, but have one stick higher than the other. For this one, doesn't matter which way. There's two types of flams: a right one and a left one. But just have one stick higher than the other, and then come down. So the lower stick hits first, and you should get daga, rather than ta. Okay, you don't want a unison stroke where they're at the same time. You want daga, blah. So, and that's going to be our flam, followed by two kicks. So just flam, kick, kick, and then again flam, kick, kick, and that's our first two groups of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we're going to play a group of two, just a flam, and then one kick. To finish it off, add it up to eight notes. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. That's the end of the phrase just there. But then we want to be able to fit it into something. So usually we've got like a bass drum and a crash to start the groove again. So I've notated an extra crash and a bass drum. And that's the first note of the next part of whatever you're going to be playing. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. First beat of the next thing. Uh, and then once you've got that, you can go back to a group. Now, uh, two great note rates you can get into. Uh, the first is um, eighth notes, which is uh, nice and slow and straightforward to learn it. Then 16th notes, which is twice as fast. So if you're grooving here, one and two and, we're playing eighth notes on the hi-hat. So you can play the fill at the same speed as that. So one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and out. That's a great place to start. That would sound like this a bit faster. You can see it's got that ta 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 all the same note rate, what we call eighth notes. And then you could double it up and go twice the speed, so it only lasts half a bar. So if you're here, one and two and the fill's going to be da 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 da. So here's eighth notes and and two and sixteenth notes twice as fast. Twice the speed. So get that in your head as you're grooving. So one and two and and ga, 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 ga. then when you're ready so you kind of got these two note rates so again it's not about fast and slow it's about how many notes you fit into the bar so there is twice the kind of kind of concentration of notes on the faster one so again don't get speed and note rates mixed up because they're kind of similar but they're really not uh, if you want to get into my note rates pyramid course that's on my website drumdex.com where i go into all the different note rates and how they all make sense compared to one quarter note click so that's where we go with that anyway uh but that's the film blagu goo blagu goo blagu tricky thing being that kick at the end and then a kick at the crash and fitting it into the music so it's not just a case of going dex i've got it blagu goo blagu goo blagu whoo Okay, it's like, okay, do it with a song. So grooving, then do it, then get back in. You're not just guessing the speed. So many guys, when I show them this kind of thing, they'll be like, okay, grooving. Okay, here comes the fill. Here we go. Blah, boom, boom, blah, goom, goom. Blah, goom. Groove. Timing is everything. On the drums, we control time. We are time lords. Doctor Who reference. So, But it's all about time and being aware of what's going on so playing with a metronome and understanding that stuff is absolutely paramount it's not just about playing fast and looking cool 
Although that plays a big part in it. So, Okay, right, I'm going to do a uh, short solo now, just demonstrating that fill. Uh, a couple of things you can do with those flams as well is move them to different places. You could go from the snare, you could go onto the toms. And you can move it around lots of different places. Also, you could take it away from being a flam and just play two notes together, but on different drums. So you could have two drums. So that's them at the same time. But you could flam them slightly and have like a blur, where one hits before the other. And you get it's like du -ga, du -du -du -ga, du. It's just a little bit more messier, and that makes everything sound a little bigger as well. Great for rock music. Or you could go for like a snare and a crash. And that can sound pretty cool as well. I'll demonstrate all those things now. And there we go. I hope that gives you a few ideas of what you can do uh, with that fill. And again, just a couple of different scenarios and note rates. Don't just get it at one speed. You can see I kind of changed the groove there. Uh, I used to practice stuff all the time, and I'd be like, okay, here, fill, I can do it. Okay, groove here, fill. Okay, unless a song was that exact speed, I actually found out I couldn't do it. So try it at a really slow tempo. Try fast tempo. Does that fill work with that? Again, if you go for a fast tempo song, so you go for a groove that's really fast, you could play the fill at half the note rate, at half the speed. Uh, and you can see you're kind of manipulating time, understanding this stuff. Get a metronome app, play around with it, understand what all this stuff means because it's the absolute core of what we do on the drums. The better you are with that, all of a sudden, your drum is going to sound better, it's going to feel better, and people are going to be like, I like when I play with that person. And all of a sudden, they'll invite you to play in you know, more bands, do more projects, and you'll be like, wow, this some, some drummers struggle to find a band. And it's like, why is everyone asking me to play? A lot of it's down to, they just enjoy playing with you because your drumming sounds absolutely solid and... It, I used to play guitar in a band, well, I still play guitar in a band, you know, and whenever the drummer would play, I would feel like I sounded cooler, okay, and that was one of the things, when I started playing the drums, it was like, okay, it's not all about me, I want to make those guys feel like they sound better when I'm with them, okay, and that is how you can get gigs and get more bands and people asking you to play with them, so... Quick tip. Anyway, you guys take care. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Again, you can check this stuff out on my website, drumdex.com. And you guys have a wonderful day. <laughs>